We have uh, a, a special treat today with one of our periodic member uh, spotlights. Uh, our member engagement committee is doing this uh, once a month. And uh, today, our uh, very own John Steckler will uh, be providing an overview of the highlights of uh, our member Don Root's contributions. Take it away, John. Thank you, President Jimmy. Okay, Caroline, let's see. Oh, you're up. Caroline is now working. So let's go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Rotarians, you know, in Rotary, we meet so many unique individuals who shine in so many ways. Some create, some inspire, some lead, some teach, some dream, and many, many more things. But our November Spotlight Member of the Month, Don Root, Classification Manufacturing, is one of these uniquely identifiable individuals. You see, Don is a builder. He has dedicated his life to building everything from structures to businesses, to family, to charities, to his community and more. He is always building something. Now, Don was born locally, right here in the small town of Hoquiam, Washington. He had three brothers, one sister. He was the youngest, the one in the front in his underwear. Yeah, he, he couldn't wait until he was big enough to fit into one of his older brother's long pants. You know, his, his legs were very cold in those early years. Uh, he really uh, enjoyed riding his uh, life-size stuffed horse that he named uh, Ginger. And Don always had a lot of friends growing up. Here he is playing with his friends Alfalfa and uh, Spanky McFarland in the sailor suit. Yeah, he still wasn't big enough to fit into his brother's clothes, but he did find a hand-me-down from his sister that worked well for this particular photo. His father had a retail supply store that sold building supplies from paint to glass to hardware, even had a shingle and shake mill. His mother was a school teacher until after the war, and then she went to work in the store with his dad. Now, work ethic, community involvement, and building things was a big influence in his life growing up. He enjoyed high school and the friendships he established. He also ran a little track and field, even played a little football. <laughs> in case you missed him, here is Don sitting right next to his coach. He also took the opportunity to join the Army National Guard Reserves for 11 years. Don is a man who values friendships and still keeps in touch with his high school and college fellow classmates every year to this day. After he graduated, Don went to one quarter of college and then decided this was not for him. I mean, his dad owned that big retail store. Why not just skip college, go to work in his dad's store? So he told his dad he wanted to drop out of college and go to work in the store. Now, his dad was no dummy. Instead of telling his son what a stupid idea this was, he instead, he said, sure, come work for me. He then gave his son the crappiest jobs he could come up with. And those are the only jobs he gave him. One crappy job after another. Jobs like, oh, loading truck trailers with shingles and shakes all by himself. And also loading truck trailers with shingles and shakes by himself in the rain. And also loading truck trailers with shingles and shakes by himself in the rain in the middle of the night. Uh, finally, somehow, some way. Don realized that maybe it was in his best interest to go back to school and get a college degree. Well, he completed one year at Western Washington University and then transferred to the University of Washington, where he graduated with a degree in business. Don loved his time at the University of Washington and the friendships he developed. Here he is with a number of his college friends at their weekly Haircut Friday event, where they compared short haircuts. In his sophomore year, he was set up on a blind date with a fellow student by the name of Karen Leaf. She was to be his date at a friends and family party that weekend at Mason Lake. Well, from the minute they got there, everyone knew she was the one for Don. Don's friends knew that she was the one. Don's parents knew that she was the one. Don knew that she was the one. Now, that being said, it took Don four and a half years to pop the question, ask Karen to be his wife. But she said yes. And they've been married for over 58 years. Here they are on their wedding day. Karen looks so beautiful. And Don was so nervous, he forgot to shave his upper lip. Well, after college, Don knew he wanted to own and build his own business. And he was fortunate to meet a man named Lester Green, 
who out of retirement at the age of 70 had started GM Nameplate. Lester told Don that if he came to work for him as a salesperson and Don could find the money, he would agree to sell Don the company. So in January of 1962, Don, young and optimistic, became the 13th employee of GM Nameplate. And when Don and his fraternity brother, Rod Williams, bought the company in 1970, eight years later, it had 60 employees. Now, the company started out making small nameplates for toasters and waffle irons, adding machines. Oh, and its largest product line, typewriters. Well, with the goal of building the business, Don knew that he had to expand into new and different products. He embraced the technology craze and started making nameplates for computers, printers, and other pieces of hardware. Don also expanded into other metal and plastic products like control panels and control modules. He added the process to create molded plastic cases, even membrane switches and touchscreens for consumer and medical electronics. He turned the company's attention to the needs of aerospace, automotive, medical, consumer electronics, sporting goods, and cosmetic industries. A far cry from the small appliance and typewriter industries it once served. Now, besides building a great company, Don and Karen also built a great family. And together they have four sons, Greg, Brad, Jack, and Jeff. Oh, as well as 11 grandchildren. Well, Don has always been a very active man, both in business as well as in play. Here he is shown in his many athletic pursuits, as well as his ongoing lifelong pursuit to find a long pair of pants. Well, all four boys followed in the GM nameplate business. And this year, the family made the decision that it was in the best interest of the sons and the grandchildren to sell the business to a subsidiary of Goldman Sachs. Everyone in the family is mentioned except Don is still working for the business. Don built a company and built a family while always participating and supporting many community groups, such as Northwest Little League Baseball, Seattle Community Colleges, the UW Foster School of Business, and Husky Sports. He has assisted in the building of Little League ballparks to church buildings and fraternity buildings. He plans to continue to look for the community activities where he can be involved with. And in 1980, Herb Bridge sponsored Don into our club 41 years ago. Now, he and Karen were very involved in the Rotary Student Exchange Program, and over the many years of their long marriage together, they have hosted many students from other countries, such as Germany, Australia, Argentina, and Japan, into their homes, and recommends Rotary get involved in this activity again. There is no doubt, after hearing his story, that Don is a very productive individual who has accomplished so much and given back so much in his life. I asked him how he does it. He told me he lives his life by two simple facts. If not me, who? And if not now, when? Fellow Rotarians, it gives me great pleasure to present our November Spotlight Member of the Month, Don Root, Classification, Manufacturing. And now I'm going to ask Don if he'd like to say a few words, open up the microphone and say a few words to his fellow Rotarians. Don? Oh, Don, you're still on mute. Almost there, Don. Don, I just asked you to unmute. Um, ah, there, there, there you go. There. I think it's all right. You got me now? You're good. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You made my life uh, sound really, really good, and it has been. Thanks for doing such a wonderful job presenting. Um, I've not been the best Rotarian in the whole group. My attendance has never been really, really good, but uh, in the last few years, I, since I've been out of town a lot, I have not attended very many times. I'm looking forward to getting back to a point where now that I'm retired, I have no excuses and I can show up for meetings again as soon as we have them. I did tune in a few times, several times, matter of fact, to watch it online, and that's been fun. Bill Center, I really liked your presentation a while back. Um, 
Anyhow, I thought maybe I'd show a few parts that might make people understand what GM nameplate did, uh, and then I'll sign off. So some of the parts maybe that you have seen in hospitals uh, would be this, everything that you see we make, but uh, Carefusion makes everything that actually makes it work inside. Um, this is the part for Lincoln. Uh, this is a part for Corvette. Um, there's one sporting goods for Peloton. Um, here's one for Boeing. Uh, anytime you walk into a Boeing airplane, there's all kinds of parts that we've made uh, to tell you where your seat is, to tell you how to flush the toilet, all kinds of interesting things. Um, here's one that goes on the uh, uh, steering wheel for Ford. Here's an old Hewlett Packard part that we made. And if you look at this calculator that maybe some of you still have, everything that you see on that in the front and in the back, we made for Hewlett Packard. That gives you an idea of what we do, since lots of people say, well, what is it that GM nameplate does? Um, anyhow, um, enough of that. Uh, let's move on. Um, Again, thank you very much for the presentation, Eric. It was wonderful. Thank you, John Steckler, for that informative member spotlight. It's nice for all our members to get a glimpse of other members through this monthly feature. Don, I, uh, you and I share uh, the introduction to Seattle Rotary by her bridge. And as I listen to the story, I. I personally relate to uh, how working in a family business early in life is good inspiration to uh, finish college. So we're, uh, we're delighted to know more about Don Root and you're always welcome either by Zoom or in person.